Howdy! Welcome back to the Comic Vault. Don't worry, I'm not alone today. I will be joined by Sheridan whenever she's ready. Oh, she's ready. I made it. Lovely. <laughs> um, well, uh, this is going to be another what we paid for uh, in terms of the new comics for this month. Uh, not too big, big of a collection uh, this month, but um, still pretty big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll have a look through. Just get stuck into it, shall we? I love this one. It's my favorite. Yeah, so this one's Black Cat. <sighs> yep, that's it, you've got it now. Black Cat number one. Um, I forget what volume, and it's a, pretty sure it's a variant. Yeah, a variant edition. Um, yeah. It's so pretty. I think the art style's amazing. So Sheridan loves Black Cat. Um, pretty much all the cat based fe <laughs> females from comics. <laughs> yeah. uh, so he did one time when I was waiting for her at a dentist appointment. I'd just grab a copy of Black Cat. So uh, <laughs> Superman, um, uh, sorry, All-Star Superman, number five. Um, very, very slowly building up the All-Star Superman collection. Um, just looking to get all 12 of them. Just, uh, yeah, got Lex Luthor defending. Clark Kent. Oh, yeah, nice. What a crazy world. I feel like I haven't seen that before. <laughs> New to me. Uh, here we've got... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on. That's Domino. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The luck. The luck chick from the Deadpool movie. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's New Mutants number 100. Uh, it's the last issue of the New Mutants series. I figured, because I've got uh, New Mutants 98, the first appearance of Deadpool, mm -hmm. and I've got New Mutants 87, cameo appearance of Cable. Um, so I figured I'd get number 100, because I think I have number one somewhere as well. How old is this? That would be the late 90s. Okay. Yeah. Because the art style feels very 80s. Oh, wait, it says 1983, but that's when the, the series began. Ah, uh, I hate that. I uh, don't oh know, 50 years, so it should be 1991. Yeah, okay. It should be. And that's a pretty nice copy. That's a it is really nice. It's a near mint minus though. That's what was unusual. The art style looks old, but the copy looks new. But yeah. I think it's just the style. It's just a nice comic. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll put up what I paid for that somewhere around there too. Um, <laughs> of course this is here. <laughs> oh yeah, um, in fact, while we're here... <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, so this is the Robin number one. First appearance of... Uh, Flatline. Who... I'll put, her, I'll put her up in between us here. Anyone who's watched these videos enough, surely this is like the fifth. Oh, probably about that. Fit. <laughs> That's your problem, mate. <laughs> So anyway, Robin number one, if you're not buying up every Robin number one you see, um, well you just don't care about making money, I guess. <laughs> it's a good way to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of things I'd buy a lot of, <laughs> yeah. we've got Thor 364. This is a very fine copy. Um, I've, yeah, just first appearance of Puddle Gulp. Um, <laughs> Who, Love the name. who later becomes Throg. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep, and I've also got a few more on the way. Of the same one? Maybe. <laughs> uh, Superman, or Action Comics, I should say, number 662. Superman in Action Comics, okay. So, yeah, so the comic oh, book is Action this. Comics, and Superman in Action Comics. I always love the whole like glass reveal thing. Yeah, yeah, I love I like the use of reflection to create smart. Even though glasses are never that clear of a reflection, like they're not mirrors, but <laughs> still works. Yeah. Can't help but get technical. <laughs> no, fair enough. Uh, so that's a near mid copy, um, which is kind of nice, especially for a ninety one comic. Mm. I've got, got a few ninety one comics. Um, that is nice. Early nineties, late late eighties stuff. Um, yeah, you were reading that last night. Yeah, I might as well show both of these at the same time. Adolescent Radioactive Black Belt Hamsters. <laughs> if you don't get that's a parody, you're probably watching the wrong video right now. Mm -hmm. um, this is about comic books, this channel. So if, if you don't get how Adolescent Radioactive Black Belt Hamsters is referencing something other than the book itself, um, 
you should look up a bit more about comic books. Um, so there was that's the 2D and that's the 3D. Oh yes. Uh, Wasn't it actually 3D? I'm pretty sure you looked into it and if you use 3D glasses it's 3D. I think so. I've got to find a pair of 3D glasses from somewhere and yeah, I forgot they have good ones now, like the plastic ones. What no, I don't need the plastic ones, just use the paper ones, who cares? I don't think I own We'll go to an op shop, we'll find some, we'll <laughs> pay 50 cents, and we'll take it. Good plan. Or we'll buy cereal for the first time in 10 years. <laughs> I think they still have them in there. I hope so. No, yeah, just eat toast. <laughs> um, Venom, number one. Oh, I love that. It's a very, very funky cover. Um, a lot of the very Venom comics nice. have been very, very funky lately. Um, but yeah, that one in particular is a very sweet. Uh, yeah, everything about that's great. Like, I wouldn't change anything. The weird part is that he's got a chain, which I've always associated with Ghost Rider. Oh, yeah. Always. But, uh... Yeah. I wonder if it comes into the story, like he breaks it off and temporarily uses it as a weapon or what. Eat the Rich, number three. This is on my to read list still. Um, I just, yeah. I don't know why I'm still buying them. I, I liked issue number one, thought the cover was funky. I can definitely see that becoming. Is it a Netflix series already? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just, I just wouldn't be surprised. Like if someone said, oh, I've been watching Eat the Rich, it just sounds right. It has the right, like. It does, doesn't it? Plus, the person on the right, I can't remember who I'm thinking of, but she actually looks like an actress. Kirsten Dunst? Something like that. I don't know, but I'm like, you can just see the cast already. These are just. <laughs> Hollywood celebrity vibes. <laughs> Who knows these days? They make them so quick they could be wondering. Uh, Machine Man, number one. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is, was it Kirby's first writing book? I don't know. It's something to do with Kirby. Kirby as in? Jack Kirby, the, the artist. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Slash creator of comic books. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. worked with um, Stan Lee on a lot of stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure what the relevance of Machine Man was. I'm now thinking about it, I'll write it under the key section <laughs> wherever I end up putting it. I was thinking of, isn't Kirby like that little pink character from something? Yeah. What's that? Ring! <laughs> it's a frog, Kirby. No, Kirby, sorry. Oh my god. Uh, was that Crazy Frog? What was no, I was thinking of Yoshi. <laughs> You know, the two swallow characters yeah, from yeah, Super yeah. Smash. Um, <laughs> no, Kirby's the, the pink guy who's like... <laughs> What's he from though? Or is he Kirby? Mm. That's all I think though. So. I don't think of it as an actual name. Yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> what the notes are for. What else have we got? Okay, not too many more actually. Um, Savage She-Hulk number six. Just another fun mm. use of reflection. Yeah, I like that. Um, very Pretty. similar to the uh, the action comics vibe, but in Iron Man's hat, you've got the She-Hulk being reflected. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, funky. Very nice. All the key primary colors. Another copy of Thor number Frank. eighteen from the recent recent series of Thor. Um, yeah, nice. And yeah, this is what made me love Throck. If you haven't seen this cover before, what? Did you nearly really fall? Just a bit. <laughs> um, then you've been missing out. Um, that's Throg. It's such a good cover too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a second copy of. Did you say there's another one coming? Three sixty-four. Yes. Then another, another. <laughs> another, another. Another, <laughs> another. Um, so that's Thor three sixty-four. Um, first appearance of Puddlegop who later becomes Throg. Uh, so just another issue of that. Um, and they're all very fine covers, covers those. You should do a video of the comics you own the most of. It's just Robin and Throg. It's just Robin and Throg, yeah, I can't even think of it's any just, others. It's just gonna be that. I feel like you have two of some, but not okay. one that many. I'll stand up for this one. Oh, um, oh yeah, fair. So we've got Watchmen. Number one. The first appearance of Rorschach, Ozymandias, Dr. Manhattan, Night Owl. Um, all of the dudes. Yep, all the dudes. And a couple of females that occasionally complain a bit. And Silk I, Spectre. Um, that wasn't going to sound how it did, but it is the truth. <laughs> yeah, Watchmen number two. So Sheridan and I are actually in the middle of reading. Which one are we up to? Um, we're up to number seven, I'm pretty sure. Out of how many? Twelve. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah so we're most of the way through. Um, it's very good. I think it's issue number four, this one. Really good issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Um, where we focus on Dr. Manhattan, his construction, his uh, concept of time mm. and the like. Somehow they translated that very well. So the good. Images. Yeah. Even without the dialogue, the images alone were pretty clear what was happening. Like it was just done well. Yeah, so I was nice enough, uh, lucky enough, I should say, <laughs> to get uh, all 12 of these for relatively, relatively cheap. Mm. Mm. It's about 120 in the end. So you got them all at once? Yeah, yeah, bought them all with one guy. Um, that's cool. I feel like that's not super common. Mm. Yeah, no, for things like probably this. Like popular rants. Um, Marvel's Secret Wars. Um, other random things like like characters' first uh, mini series. A lot of characters have like the first four mini series. Yeah, it's pretty okay. common to be able to buy those kinds of things completely um, on their own. Yeah, that's cool. Like as, as a set, as a set. I haven't seen so many of these covers like when we've been reading them. Like they're not as familiar. <laughs> and number twelve. It's very cool cover. Oh. Midnight hour. So yeah, so that's the entire Watchmen series. Um, but it's also uh, all of the comic books that I've collected this month. Um, so we're going to try and make this a monthly thing where we do the uh, what we paid for, um, and on the off chance we don't get a what we paid for out. Um, I'll be making pop culture style videos. Most recent one was um, top 10 most valuable comics since 2010. That's good. Yeah, it was a really fun one to make. Um, the more recent one that we'll be coming out with is the eight best songs from Steven Universe, the TV show. Um, if you haven't seen Steven Universe, uh, obviously you should, in my opinion. So good. Yeah, Sheridan and I both finished watching it um, just the other week. And wow, wow, wow. Uh, in particular, the songs were, yeah, were really, really, really good. Mm. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll be coming out with that. And yeah, stay posted for more of these. Um, let us know if you have any ideas for pop culture videos yeah. that you want to see. Um, That'd be good. You know, we probably won't do them. That's just how recommendations work, right? <laughs> we'll um, think about it. <laughs> but chances are, whatever you want us to do, we haven't even seen, heard of, whatever. Mm. At least we'll start looking into those things. Sure. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, join us next time in the Comic Vault.